and thank you that continuously we will walk in your victory. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving and all shall say a big amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm excited about what God is doing and we are all grateful for his love, for his blessings, for his kindness and everything that he is doing in our lives. And yeah. we know that the good Lord who has begun a good work in our lives will continue to bring it to a perfect completion in Jesus' mighty name. And Amen. I prophesy that anything that we have started this year, we will see the end of it because it is God who is holding your hand and God is holding Amen. my hand day by day and we Amen. will see the victory all the time. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Okay, so last week we were looking at the subject that we are made for above and Amen. we use... Um, and I, I talked about how God uses nature to, you know, even communicate with us because he himself said that he is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And we look at the eagle and we saw how the eagles come to, to um, train their children and uh, how he gives them, the eagle gives the children comfort for some time because they are children. But then now when he wants, the eagle wants the children to now grow up, there are things that the eagle does to bring this comfort to them and starts training their children, training the children to say, hey, look at me, you are just like mom. But from beginning, the eaglets will think, this mom wanting to kill us, what's wrong with mommy? Is she crazy? What's happening? And, you know, as it, they, it continues to go on, it tells us that the eaglets now begin to understand that mommy wants to tell us something, that we have to look at mommy and copy what mommy is doing. And the Bible tells us, so we read that in the book of Deuteronomy, 32, 11, and the 12 tells us that the same way that the eagle does to the eaglets, gives them comforts when they are born, give them everything that they need. But when it gets to a time, she wants them to also be on their own, to be like her. Let them know that, look at me, you are just like mommy. You can soar high, you can get your own food, you can do your own thing. So the Lord in verse 12, I have meditated on this every day for of, of, of last week, that this as it does, so the Lord, and we learned a whole lot of things in it, that the, the hidden truths in the word of God, that indeed, if when God says that he has made you and I above, we are above only. And um, whilst I was I was meditating on it, I got I got this message that this we have to have our inner strength. Glory be to God. So we're going to talk about inner strength today. That we are having inner strength because strength. We, you know, we we read in in Nehemiah eight ten that the joy of the Lord is our strength. But I put here that you can't change your emotions until we change our thoughts. We cannot change the emotions that we have, we see around us as we are talking about inner strength. And this week I, 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 I got the chance to look on YouTube how the eagles, they, they, they move around. And I, I, I got to see that even the eagles, how they get their strength. Because I, when I was speaking last week, I was saying how they that wait upon the Lord, because whilst we go through the challenges, whilst we, uh, things are becoming uncomfortable, we look up to God and he's the one who gives us strength. We will begin to run and not be weary, we will walk and we will not faint, just as the Bible tells us. So now I was looking, I was watching these animal things and I realized that even for the, the uh, uh, eagle to have a strength, the eagle stands on a rock 
and will gaze, the eagle will gaze at the sun. When the sun rises up, the eagle will gaze at the sun. And that is where she, she gains the power and begins to look at the wind coming and spread the wings and will begin to soar. And I, once I was looking at it, I said, wow, the rock is the word of God. Glory be to God. As we are standing on the word of God and we are gazing and looking into the things of the word of God, that is where we get our inner strength. Glory be to God. We get our inner strength in that. So today we're going to look at a Bible scripture here. Um, 2 Corinthians 4. 2 Corinthians 4. Uh, let's look at 16 to 18, please. Thickness 1B. 2 Corinthians 4, 16, 16 to 18. 16 to 18, yes. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, mm -hmm. yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. Yet the inward, you see, is telling us that we shouldn't lose hearts even though the outward man is perishing. Everything that we are seeing outside, uh, as we see it perishing, things are changing, is telling us that yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. The Lord is renewing our strength day by day as we walk with him, as we stand on his word, as we continue to testify, as we continue to meditate upon the word of God. Inner strength is coming to us in the mighty name of Jesus. And it says day by day. So child of God, the strength that we are having, it is not an instant strength. We have to understand it. It is not an instant strength. It is a day by day strength. Today you will do something. Tomorrow you will gain another strength. Tomorrow again you gain another strength. So let us let us cultivate this habit that we know that the inner strength that we are getting, when even we read the word of God, and because I, I read the, the Bible round and round and round, but every time, child of God, I come back to read the word of God, I get new strength. I get new revelation. I get new wisdom. So he's telling us that the, the strength that we have, the inner strength that we have, is telling us in verse 16 that it is renewed day by day. Glory be to God. So Amen. when you know this truth, that the strength, the inner strength that you are having is renewed day by day. That will cause you to always go to the word of God. That will give you the strength, what? Day by day. Glory be to God. Verse 17. For our light afflictions, mm -hmm. which is but for a moment, yes. is working for us a far more exceeding and oh, way of glory. Hallelujah. Carry on. Why while we do not look at the things which are seen, mm -hmm. but at the things which are not seen. Yes. For the things which are seen are temporary. Absolutely. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So day by day, as we are gaining and receiving strength, it tells us that for our light afflictions, do you see how the word of God is putting it? Light afflictions. So in case you are getting some discomfort somewhere, bit by bit, the Bible doesn't see it as it's heavy on you. He's seeing it as what? A light affliction. And it is for a moment, child of God. Glory be to God. When the eagle is um, trying to give the, the eagle's discomfort, it's for a short time. And that is where we pick up our strength from. Glory be to God. That is where we pick up our strength from. And it says that the affliction, this is a light affliction and which is for a moment and is working far more exceeding. You see, these light afflictions that you go through, things that come your way. Uh, you, you woke up, you plan your day a certain way, but God also has another way for you. 
for you, you will think that, oh God, why is this happening? Oh Lord, I don't feel right. This is it's not too good. It's just light affliction. And the Bible is telling us that it's for a moment. And in that moment that those things are happening, whilst you are going to God day by day, it's giving you that strength, inner strength that you are getting it day by day. And it's telling us that those afflictions and uh, that is for a moment is working for you. Mm. Glory be to God. And they are working for you. Where at the moment when you are going through it, you will not see that is working for you. Because it says it is far more exceeding than the uh, um, and the great glory that you will get. And mm. it's telling us that you see, it is not just the things that we see outside. Looking at the things that are seen, but we are not. We are looking at things that are what not seen, because the things that we see they are temporary, and but the things that we do not see they are what eternal life. They are eternal to us. So we are looking at at the strength, inner strength that God gives to us. We're going to read the book of Second um, Corinthians. 12, 2 Corinthians 12, 2 Corinthians 12, 9, 9 and 10. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 uh -huh. and 10. <clears throat> and he said to me, mm -hmm. my grace is sufficient for you. Mm -hmm. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Hallelujah. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities mm -hmm. than the power of Christ may rest upon me. Hallelujah. He's telling Paul that my grace is what? The grace that God has given is sufficient. God has given you and I sufficient strength that will make us go work day by day. And that strength, in his strength, we are made perfect, even in our weakness. Now, I've put some things here that we need to do. I said, focus on things that we can for us to gain inner strength as we are renewing our strength day by day. Focus on things that you can control. Focus on the ones that you can control. The ones that you don't have control over. I believe last time when I was speaking, I even mentioned it. Now, don't worry about things that you can control. If you can't control it, don't worry. Then work on it. But if you can't control it, don't worry. Because the one who is above you will take care of it. So in actual fact, there is no need to worry. So focus on the things that you can control. These are the things that will give you and I the inner strength. And then also focus on things that are going right for you. That is how we get our strength. You see, when you focus on the things that are going well for you, in this pandemic, things are now opening. It's coming bit by bit and people are going back to work. The streets and roads and everything is being filled up and stuff. Think about the good things. Yes, there's been um, bad things that has happened within the pandemic. However, for you and I to maintain and continuously move from strength to strength in our inner strength day by day, what you and I need to do is to focus on things that are going good for us. In this, we are appreciative. We we'll be, begin to appreciate what God has done for us. And the more we are being appreciative and we are, being, we are thinking on the good things that happen to us day by day, the good things increases in our lives. Glory be to God. Just like uh, Evangelist Patience is talking about how the word of God is moving from one place to the other. That is how it is. You don't, you don't get tired, but you focus on the good things that are happening to you. And whilst you are focusing on it and you are growing in the strength, the inner strength is being renewed day by day. 
So you are thinking of good things. Every day, those good things will begin to multiply on to, to your life because why? You are focusing on it. In our weakness, he gives us that strength that we need. Glory be to God. And then now at number three, I've put here that you are you have to be you have to be joyful, mm-hmm. child of God, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. When you don't have to be sad of anything that is going on, as we read in the book of uh, 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 the first scripture, 2 Corinthians 4, 16, it tells us that we go through those light afflictions. When those light afflictions come, know that the Lord will still pick you up from that. Because if God was not in it, that affliction would not come any affliction or anything that comes our way. He's our father. He's a loving father. He loves us. He's taking us through. He will strengthen us within that affliction. And he tells us that it's for a moment. It's just for a moment. It's coming to pass. So let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Glory be to God. When the joy of the Lord becomes your strength, you you will learn to laugh in difficult times. You will learn to laugh. And as we are laughing day by day, the laughing is increasing. And whilst the laughing is increasing, you begin to see that what the enemy thought that is putting sadness and, 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 and heaviness upon your life, things have changed all, all around. Glory be to God. And then we say, I've put here that action converts into faith action whilst your action converts into faith because i'm saying that how we get our inner strength we need to be joyful whilst you are being joyful and you are thanking god of the great things that he's doing everything you are focusing on the good things bit by bit those are your actions those are the actions that you are acting that it is well with me i am moving forward and the gates of hell will not prevail against me i will sing praise unto the lord i will continue to sing praise what you are doing is that you are prophesying and your actions will now turn into faith and faith will turn into trust and then trust will now turn into manifestation glory be to god hallelujah will turn into to manifestation. So this is what we need to do. And then I have put some few few points here that anybody who is strong see some of the characteristics of things who has inner, those who have inner strength or even those who have physical strength. You see, there is inner strength. When your inside is strong, it will portray you to show on the outside and the scripture that we read it says it's not the things that we are seeing on the outside the things that we are seeing on the outside they are temporary however things that we don't see the inner strength that we don't see those are the ones that will take us to our 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 destiny glory be to god those are the things that will take us to our destiny so as we are seeing that the eagle gets the strength when he stands on the rock and gazes in the sun and gets the, the, the power that comes to him, whilst we are gazing at the word of God, inner strength comes to us. And look at some of um, the characteristics of people who have inner strength, the things that they do. I've put here, number one, that those who have inner strength, they don't allow others to bring them down. Glory be to God. When you have inner strength, so now when you see that you have allowed something or somebody to give to bring you down, mm-hmm. check your inner strength. You need to work on your inner strength to be stronger. Glory be to God. Because those who have inner strength, they don't allow, you don't allow anybody to put you down. Number two, Those who have inner strength, child of God, you know what happens? They believe in themselves. They believe believe that 
The joy of the Lord is my strength. God is with me. He says his grace is sufficient for me. He, he himself is my strength. So I believe in the God that I serve. That is what will make your actions change because you know that even when it's at the 11th hour, what the Lord has said concerning you will surely come to pass. Glory be to God. So you, you always believe in what God has said. Hallelujah. And those who have inner strength I've put here, they are not afraid of anything. Hallelujah. If one, even if you look at those who uh, have physical strength, I'm not talking about, we are not talking about the physical because the Bible has made us understand that it is not the things that we see that matters, but the things that we don't see. So we are looking at the inner strength. Those who have those that inner strength, you are not afraid. Anything that happens, you are not afraid because why? There's that strength that is in you. You know that the Lord will give you the wings of eagle and you will begin to mount up and you will, where you belong, God will place you there. That is what inner strength does to us. Glory be to God. And then the next thing, people with inner strength, so that for us to have that inner strength, it has lots of qualities. Hallelujah. They don't seek for attention. Hallelujah. Those with inner strength, they don't seek attention from the outside. Our attention seeking is in the word of God. Our attention seeking is on our knees. Our attention seeking is for us to fast and pray before the Lord. Things that we need to do to energize our spirit, to energize our soul, that our body will begin to, 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 to comply with what we, 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 we have done. Glory be to God. So we don't seek attention from the outside world, we, we, but rather our focus is on the word of God. And then those who have inner strength. So you see all these things that we are talking about. If you don't have them, we need to go back and check on our inner strength. Glory be to God. I put here, those who have inner strength, they refuse to be victims. Hallelujah. Whilst you have inner strength, you refuse to be a victim. Anything that happens to you, and you say, there's a message for me here. I need to check into this. God, why this happened? What is this? I don't understand it, but I know that there is a message in there for me. Glory be to God. So you refuse to become a victim. In the victimization, you will turn it around to be a victim. Glory be to God. Because Amen. you know that your God is with you. Inner strength, the things that we see outside, they are just temporary. They will go. But now we are talking about your spirit, your soul. This is your soul matter we are talking about. And you will strengthen it. You strengthen your soul through the word of God. And these are the, the qualities and the abilities that we gain when we are strong on our inside. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So you refuse to be, to be a victim when you are strong inside. And then I put here, you don't back down from challenges. When any challenge, you are faced with any challenge, you don't back down. Why? Because you are strong. You are strong inside. Somebody even on the physical side to the people who are strong with big, big mm. muscles, they see something, they say, this I can conquer. I'll be able to conquer. But when you are weak, but it says in, in, in our weakness, he's made us strong. So this inner strength is, is a godly thing, is something that you and I must crave for. And that is what God has given to us. And that is what you and I, we have to possess. When we don't possess this, the inner strength, we'll begin to look at the outside things. And the moment we fall out from the inside and we go outside, we lose everything. And then you will be a Christian you will be a Christian, but you will not be an eagle. You will not be an eagle Christian. And the eagle Christian is one who has takes authority. You, you take power. 
You take your joy, you take everything that comes to you, you know that you are above. Nothing else comes below for me. Glory be to God. The, uh, um, one more point that I will add here before we pray. I said that uh, those, those who have inner strength, they don't overreact to things they can't control. They don't overreact on things that they don't control. In other sense, they are not giving up on anything. They are not giving up on anything at all. So, child of God, we, are, we have looked unto it, and it says that, uh, come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and he, the Lord, will give us strength. Strength comes from above. And whilst you and I, we are in God, and we, are, we know that our position is above, let that inner strength be ours. Because the scripture that we read is saying, telling us that anything you are going through now, good or bad, is even for a moment. And whilst things changes, God is strengthening you. So you must strive to be strong on the inside. Strong on the inside. And whilst you are strong on the inside, it will show on the outside because your inside will be smiling, your outside will show you smiling. Glory be to God. So everything we do is starting from our inside. That's the, 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 uh, we'll be able to destroy every work of the enemy. It comes from our inner strength. So today, child of God, God himself is speaking to us that we will strive to be strong, not on the outside. Yes, it's good to have, because we live in the body, keep the body strong as well. But your focus is just like the, the, the eagle stands on the rock. So what is strengthening us is the word of God. And we are renewed what day by day, every day of our lives, we are being renewed. But if we don't go in there, our strength will leak. It begins to leak day by day, even in the, in the physical things, when you uh, have to exercise the muscles and you do uh, some and then you don't do again, two weeks time you come, you see that you are still getting tired. But the ones that are consistent and are going into it, doing it with intervals, giving in intervals so that the muscles can relax and all those things, they are gaining their strength every day. Glory be to God. Inner strength is what we, we need in these times, in these tough times, in these good times. I don't see, for me, in this pandemic, the Lord has taught me a whole lot of things. I have learned so many things. And in this, I, I, I see the strength of God coming to me. And the, and the power of God coming to me in a unique way. However, we have weaker ones around. And so those who are strong, we are the ones that will be able, strong people help the weak. Glory be to God. Strong people, those who are strong on the inside, we see things on the outside. And that is where we go to our knees and we pray to God. And then we see things are happening. Things are happening because you and I, day by day, God is renewing us, is renewing our strength, is giving us strength day by day. So you also, your aim and your, and your desire should be, Lord, strengthen me so that I will be able also to help somebody. Somebody needs you, but then if you are not strong yourself, how will you be able to help? So you, you, whilst you are, you are desiring to have inner strength, it is also important for you to know that you are not just having the inner strength for yourself, but you are having the inner strength so that if any weak person comes around you, anybody who needs help, they, you will be able to stretch your hands and help them. May the Lord add his blessings as my time is up. Uh, I, I had a, a, 
a story that I needed to, I used to back this, but I need to go according to the time because MCB will have their rehearsals this evening. So I don't want us to go over our time. Let's close our eyes and pray. Father God, I thank you and I bless you for today. Thank you for your word that you have taught us, oh God. I pray for anyone who is weak, oh Lord, anyone who has, has no strength, Lord, I pray that you increase our strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, the Lord. We will continuously stand on your word, stand on the rock, and Lord, gain our strength from you because we know that as we gain our strength, we will be able to also be a blessing to people all around us. May your name be praised in Jesus' name. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. 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 Sorry, I was talking. I thought I was mute on mute. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Bless you, bless you. Bless you, dear. I call on Minister Kweku to lead us a time of offering. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hakuna wakaita saje su Hakuna wakaita saje Hakuna wakaita saje su Haku haku shinga everybody say Oh, my God. 
to the close of the service tonight and I call on our dad to give us the closing prayer and blessings for the week. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. When your inside is strong, Everything is strong. That's where the Amen. inner power. Because God lives inside there. And Amen. once he's there, he makes you powerful. And Amen. that's the word tonight that we should go in the inner strength. We thank God for all the great testimonies we have heard. And um, also when, when you gave that uh, testimony for my son, I was really, really pleased. Um, I was a bit shaken though because um, on the 2nd of June, the Spirit of God was telling me that I should just pray for him for some promotion coming his way. So I sent him a message that um, if you have one prayer request, let me know. But I didn't hear from him. And then um, last week, he contacted me on something else. And then Tuesday that you were saying, he sent a message that, uh, that thank you for asking me for the prayer request. At the moment, God is in control. That's what he said. I said, blessing, son. And uh, for you to give this testimony, it means that God never sleeps. And... What um, I will pray tonight that to, for God to impart on everyone is um, let's be selfless and be ready to hear God. You know, when God tells you something, whether it makes sense, it doesn't make sense, just do it. You know, it's just like I did what I have to do without knowing what God was trying to say. And today I'm hearing the testimony, so I would look so foolish if I didn't listen. To it's 22 God. hours. But I, I just believe God for what he has done. So please, the uh, prayer tonight for blessing is, please, when God says do something, it may not make sense, but go ahead and do it. And over the years, every time God is showing me that I don't know anything, Every time, shame, son, you still don't know because he's shocking me every day because he takes the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. But I pray for supernatural inner power, inner being. Lord, God, build our inside so we can hear you even much better. So that the situations and the mountains of God that comes around, Lord, all those mountains. Lord, you silence them because of your power. Lord, even these testimonies that I've heard tonight has encouraged me that all the people 
that you ask me to pray for, they have received their results. Amen. They have received Amen. it. And Amen. some of them, I send the request to mom for the afternoon time, and she prayed on it as well. Mm -hmm. And I know Jehovah God, you have heard everybody's prayer. Those Amen. in this country, those outside this country, those uh, are far off, those who are even not Christians and they are Muslims, and they have still asked that, Lord, I want you to help me. You have helped them because you hear everyone's prayer and their desires. We give you praise, oh Lord. We pray for hearing your voice and doing what, Lord, as you say, whether it makes sense or not. So, Lord, we thank you for all the testimonies that have been given. I bless you, Lord, for their life, the breakthroughs of God that we are hearing. We thank you, and I thank you, Lord, for our dear son. As the Lord is going, oh Lord, you will lead him. You will lead him so well, because everything of God that I've heard tonight is exactly what you made us discuss. And we thank you for all the miraculous things that you do. I pray that your love will hold us together and will unify us and will be with us all throughout. May the blessings be upon you. May Amen. Jehovah God bless all of you. Because God says you have a good heart. God says, I can see a good heart in you. And I bless that heart. I bless that heart. I bless that heart. I bless that heart. Amen. God is very happy with your heart. And he's blessing that heart for inner strength and ability to move forward. Keep on with that sweet heart that you have inside you. Because it has pleased the Lord tonight. That these hearts are mine. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Jehovah God, for blessing all of us in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen.